This is the Regency Room of the Civic Center. It is a fairly large room, has the capability with air walls, walking through one right now, of dividing up into 10 different rooms. Although we're not really considering necessarily dividing up into 10 different rooms, this is where we are possibly going to host the USITT symposiums and or the, some of the design displays for ACTF. This is the heritage room where we plan on setting up the majority of the workshops, possibly some of the playwriting uh, events. This is, this is currently cordoned off with some air walls, but the room is far larger than the Regency. It is carpeted and the sound walls are, in terms of sound insulation, is far better, superior to the other. This is another part of the heritage room. The heritage room, it's current, this one is currently air walled and separated off from the rest. The heritage room can be divided up into 22 different sections. This is the Grand Plaza of the Amarillo Civic Center. It's a rather um, oval shaped room with uh, the floor. I don't know if you can see it, but there's well, there's the Western Texas portion of, te of the Texas shape in here, and it goes on down, and we have the Gulf Coast way over there. I know that sounds very strange, but anyway, up there is a stage area. Um, the Civic Center is hoping to have new lighting prior to our event coming in. This is where we are considering having Irene Ryan's and possibly some of the playwriting events here. Uh, we will set up, right now it's set up for a banquet, but they, we can set chairs up and everything for um, theatrical setup where we can have Rose Niles. So, and we could pack quite a few people in here if need be. So, um, like I said, there will be lighting eventually and, um, and it's a fairly sizable room. And this is possibly also where we would do uh, the student, student party at the end of the week.